Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to answer to your question how to drive decimal places with Creo. I will start from scratch and if you will create new 3D model and we will specify some name and we will create the first geometry. As you can see in default the system will show me two decimal places. Yes, so if I will finish the sketch and also the first extrude feature and if you would like to edit, we can see that system also specify the two decimal places. If I will put more, for example, 555, 679, something like this, the system will make the round and the do not apply the exact value. What I really need over here is a good example that it's a more than two decimal places. What is possible to see? But if I will specify something different, the system will again make a round and apply only two decimal places. Fine. For the selected value, you can see over here in the ribbon is possible to round dimension and also specify the custom decimal places. So for example, if you will specify five, the system will always for this dimension to show five decimal places. So now if I will change the value, for example, like this yep more than five digits but system will show me always five because i have specified the dimension as needed but i don't want to apply all changes one by one and specify for example two three five for example you would like to also always use the three decimal places or only one depends on the data quality or the the, the size of the model and so on so let's start there really from scratch again. What does it mean? With Creo, you are able to specify custom configuration options. And if I will select the setting and configuration editor, you can simple directly from the menu, from the setting, this small arrow and the system will allow to you jump to configuration editor. Over here, what you would like to found is the default decimal places, default underscore DC underscore places. And if you will found it, as you can see, the default value is two. If you would like to specify your custom value, you can set, for example, three decimal places is my request for every new object what I will create, every new dimensions. So I will use the three decimal places as example. And if you will come from OK, you are able to save the preferences. I don't want to save it for now. It is only for this session, so I don't want to save it. Again, we will create new 3D model, decimal places, and we will create, for example, simple extrude feature. And now you see that system automatically show me three decimal places. Yeah, okay, you can change the value, 300 and more decimal places, but if we hit enter, the system will round to three decimal places. Also here, 200 point something, yeah. If I will hit enter, the system will show me and round the number to three decimal places. So logic is that you are able to specify decimal places from the scratch. If you create anything new, you can have your custom values. As before, again, you can select dimension and change from three to one decimal places and it's good enough. Yeah. Also in the drawing mode, I will show later. And what does it mean? If you would like to right now create new 3D drawing, it's really easy. You can create new drawing, specify the name and specify the size, what you would like to apply. And you can use the general view and apply, for example, that you would like to see it from front. Fine, it's only really easy example. We will change scale, for example, 2.5. And over here, we would like to see the model annotation so directly i will use the function if you would like to know more how to show model annotation please check the previous tutorials now we are focusing on the decimal places for selected dimension or dimension so if you will select one more you can also select the filter over here select all dimensions and specify as one uh, selection for example, you would like to see one decimal places or more, it's up to you, you can change it. But 
if you will create something new again in configuration option it's a three decimal places as before okay another example you maybe would like to reuse this dimension to some nodes so right now i choose that we will see the five decimal places i like to use this dimension d16 to my node what does it mean i will jump to annotate and we will create new node and over here we will specify it for example text 01 and then i'd like to reuse d16 what does it mean you will reuse the end and d16 if you will put enter or you will add the additional text you will see that system automatically delete existing dimension and reuse this dimension into node if you will delete the node the system will put dimension back because it's a reuse it from the model okay we can reuse undo and let's continue questions now over here is easy you can select dimension and change the round and specify the decimal places but how to do it over here if it is used in the node if you will select text then jump to format and over here is small button decimal places and again you can change it for example one decimal places and confirm and again you can see dimension as one decimal places and last but not least is how to reuse open parameter or custom parameter and reuse this information for the text i will jump in the tools and parameters we will create new parameter for example qq01 it's a name of the parameter and value will be some number doesn't matter and point three three six nine nine and seven something like this yeah so really huge number over here maybe we can use only 15.33 yeah what does it mean if i will use the qq01 in the text in the same logic so by annotate note and text 02 and end qq01 it's a name of the parameter i will put it away you can see that system automatically use the three decimal places reuse information from the configuration options but i like to see more or less how to do it best practice is if you select this node and you know this dimension is reused from the parameter jump into format and then in the text is possible to use the text editor the system will open the text editor and this is our parameter what we have set and behind this d is necessary to use the bracket and dot and for example number of decimal places i will specify only one decimal places as the example yeah so only what is necessary to add is the bracket dot one and end of the bracket if you will use the for example five six seven this number means how many decimal places you would like to have so i will save it Control s and close this window and now i have only one decimal places and again format text editor and change to two decimal places save and close and we have a two decimal places from the parameter if i will change parameter value from 15 33 something like thing okay we can use the number 25 point and some number what does it mean the system will round the to 57 yeah because the addition number is 9 so round up so 25.57 will be result and we can see you have to a little bit move with the drawing and the system will regenerate the drawing or you can use the control g for the regeneration and it was everything in this example you have seen how to specify custom configuration option how the system will apply default decimal places for example three then you can change it by round dimensions and specify how many decimal places or over here was two examples how to reuse dimensions or parameter as the node thanks for your question stay tuned and bye bye vladimir